Carlos here. I'm gonna show you guys my Vortex Cannon. I get asked this question all the time. Like, How did you make that? And where did that come from? Um, it's been around for years and years. But mine is a little bit different than others that I've seen on the internet. So I'm making a video to show you guys how to make your own. It's pretty easy. Um, basically, Vortex Cannon, all it is is it has air in here. We're gonna force all that air out of this tiny hole. When you do that, it creates what's called a vortex ring. Um, and don't quote me on that because I'm not a scientist and I don't have a degree in anything like that. So whatever it is, it's a ring of air. It's really cool. You can't really see it unless you put smoke in it. We're going to get to that part in a minute. But I need to show you how to make this. I just got a Rubbermaid Brute Trash Can from your local home improvement store. And uh, to make it, turn it upside down, there's already a hole on the bottom here. I just use a razor blade and cut that out. Okay? Then on the back here, I'm taking two or three mil plastic, the thicker the better. And so I just put it on the back here. I use that uh, clear Gorilla Tape. I like that stuff a lot. It's really strong and it's clear. Um, helps it look a little bit better. And so I've got that diaphragm and I kind of want it to go in a little bit. I don't want it to be tight. Most of the Vortex cannons you're gonna see are percussive based where you hit it and then it shoots a ring out. Mine doesn't work like that. It works like the toy, the Air Zuka. And there's a bungee cord inside here. Let me show you that. I have two holes right here where I have a bungee cord hooked on this side and a bungee cord hooked on this side. And it goes all the way back to the plastic and then it goes through the plastic and back out here. So whenever I pull on the back there, it's stretching it and then it pulls it forward like that. Now I got these uh, little bungee cords that are hooked on carabiners. They were on sale on clearance. I just use those. You may just have to figure out a way to attach it, but these were really easy. I just drilled two holes, put them right through. No problem at all. They go to the back here. And uh, whenever I pull back like this, it's pushing it and it's giving it that real nice action right there. All right? Plus I've got the handle and that's the other great thing is I have this on a turret. It goes up and down, side to side. It makes it so easy, okay? Now I'm gonna show you the base and uh, let's flip this thing over and I'll show you what it looks like on bottom. All right, so this is the base, the turret base. Um, it's pretty simple. This is one of those rolling bases for this particular trash can. Um, it just literally locks on, and I'm going to show you something really cool with this in a minute. Um, but this locks on. All I did was drill three holes, or I'm sorry, four holes. One here, one here, one here, one here. I drilled those four holes there, and then I went and I got a metal flange right here that uh, I believe this is a female adapter right here. I just used wing nuts on here uh, to go. I like wing nuts because sometimes I don't have a wrench with me. Um, but I've got those right there mounted to there, okay? Then I went and I got a male PVC adapter that goes right into it. This is a piece of PVC. All this is made out of PVC, so basically you're making what looks like a goal post, right? And it has been cut to be the exact uh, width of the trash can barrel, right? To hook this in here, all I did was I drilled two holes in the side here, and then there is a big, long screw right here that goes through. Now, if we go on the inside here, guys, You'll see right here, see the screw right here, and I have a wing nut right there, okay? It's really cool. So we can take that off, and uh, we can take it on. And I'm going to show you how I tear this down in a minute to make it really easy and portable. But that's the basic design of it, guys. So you've got the bungee cords hooked up here, through here. Um, that's it, the mechanics of it. Um, it's really easy. This is not hard. It is not rocket science. You can build this quick. It's, it's not hard. All you need is the materials. Um, and I think everything I'm looking at right here when I built this, and I built this like five years ago, still been fine. I do have to replace the plastic every now and then, um, but about 125 bucks. Um, you can make it cheaper, but uh, this is what it cost me. So that's the basic design of my Vortex Cannon. Right, so pretty easy, uh, not hard, but that's not the coolest part of it. It only gets cool when you add a little smoke. All right, guys, so the cool part is when you add a little bit of fog or haze, all right? I'm using just a basic fog machine that you can get from pretty much any party store. Um, I'm actually probably going to redesign this one. I'm gonna put a, uh, a hole in here and just have this hose hooked up to it at all times, but you just gotta stand there, put this in it, no big deal. All right, so we're gonna fill it up with a little bit of fog here. All right, you guys can turn it off. I have uh, this fog machine attached to 
a pool hose my dad was going to throw away. Now it's mine. So, here we go. All right, I have my daughter Jaden, and I'm going to shoot her, okay? Well, I mean, you know, aim a smoke ring at her. Here we go, and... Oh, almost. Almost got it. Oh, no! Yeah, oh. Here, there. Yeah. yeah. All right, so... Anyways, and, and honestly, I have air conditioning coming down right now, which is messing with it, so you might have a little bit of a problem there. But it's really, really cool. Um, we're shooting these smoke rings, and I'm gonna shoot one towards the camera so you can see this in action, all right? Oh, almost, oh, yeah. And another fun thing that I like to do is uh, I'll shoot one up in the air, and then I'll try to like knock it out with the other one. So it's kind of kind of fun. So this is the Keith Coast Chaotic Vortex Man Cannon, whatever you want to call it. It's a lot of fun. This will get a crowd moving. It's amazing. Now I'm going to show you how I tear it down. This is really cool. Okay, so this is how I tear it down. Really, really simple. Um, I have this part. I just untwist here, and I don't glue this part. Um, I glued these two parts and I actually leave this part on. Now watch this, this is awesome. Because this right here actually hooks on, that's what it was designed for. Boom, this is ultra portable right here. And what's really cool is that I take my pull hose that I use to put all my uh, uh, fog in there. I actually stuff it up in there before I do this part. And then this is what I wheel around. This goes in the back of my truck, back of my trailer wherever I'm gonna go. I will warn you though, if you have this laying anywhere backstage, people will put trash on top of it because they think it's a trash can. It is not a trash can, it is a vortex <laughs> cannon. And guys, that's my vortex cannon. So, now you can make your own and you can quit asking me, how did you make that vortex cannon? That's really cool, you can make your own. It's a lot of fun, you guys can uh, make your own, make your own design, send it to me, tell me how you guys made yours. But uh, have fun making it, guys. See you next time.